for the next award is the Ombrecht Award, and to give that award, we will have a brief um, video from a DFSME board member, as well as DuPont's lead for new business development, Janara Andrade. Hello, my name is Janara Andrade, and I am a new business development manager with DuPont. And I am pleased to be able to announce this year's winner of the Armbrick Award, an award that DuPont has proudly sponsored in some form since its inception in 2014. The Armbrick Award is given in memory of Ross Armbrick, a DuPont research chemist and former DFSME executive director. Ross was an original member of the Delaware STEM Council and an advocate for a world-class math and science education for every student in Delaware. The award acknowledges a Delawarean educator who has demonstrated outstanding commitment and collaboration between business, educators, and community leaders to improve math and science education for all students in Delaware. I am proud to announce the 2021 winner, Tanya Mead, who leads science curriculum for the Department of Education for the state. Congratulations, Tanya. Tanya, can you hear me? Oh, great, fantastic. This is the award plaque that you'll be receiving. Um, do you want to give a couple of thank yous or shout outs to, to anybody? Actually, I'm going to get choked up because it's such an honor. And I'm really shocked to receive this award because Ross was a very, very special person to me. And he ended up becoming a friend. Um, I actually wrote a few things down. Um, in 19, or actually in 2006, uh, we presented together at the Triangular Coalition for Science and Technology Education Policy Conference in Washington, D.C. on successful partnerships with businesses and DOE. And we talked about DFSME and the Delaware Coalition Partnership and how we work together as a team. Um, and the Delaware Science, uh, Delaware Science Standards were chaired by Joe Miller, who is a retired director of the Central Research and Development at DuPont, and Rachel Wood, who was a former Delmar teacher, um, science teacher, and who later became the DOE Education Associate of Science. So I had the opportunity to work with them on the committee of the Delaware First Science Standards that helped create the Delaware Science Coalition back in 1995. So DuPont was all part of that and Ross was part of that. All these people were involved with DuPont. And as a little girl, I never thought about being a teacher and I grew up um, watching Jacques Cousteau. And so I spent most of my summers at my grandmother's and grandfather's beach house on Broadkill. And at the age of 10, I was going to live in Lewis. I was gonna to go to the University of Delaware and I was gonna become a marine biologist. But it wasn't until my senior year in high school that I changed my pathway and I decided to become a teacher. And even though my heart and love is for the ocean, I'm still glad that I decided to take the pathway of being a teacher. I made the right choice because I've made um, more, I, because I have made more of an impact on lives through the younger generation and to instill the love of science. Um, I live in Lewis. I went and did my grad school at University of Delaware. I'm still a science person. Um, so I am just so thankful. I do have one last thing that I do wanna say, and this will resonate with Melissa because Melissa and I are on the same pathway here. If we go on the way, if we go on the way we have, the fault is our greed. And if we are not willing to change, we will disappear from the face of the globe to re be replaced by the insect. And that's Jock Fusto. Still my love, Jock. Um, so again, sounds wonderful. So much. Thank you, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> I know this word is very well deserved for all your years of meritorious service for the, to the state and science education. Will there be room on your bookshelves for a uh, DOE for another I'll award? I'll make room for Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. Well, thank you again and congratulations. This will, we'll send this out to you. Tonya Mead is an education associate for science with the Delaware Department of Education. 
Since 2010, she has overseen primary through 12th grade science education for the state. Tonya received a BS in elementary education from Slippery Rock University and a Master of Instruction from the University of Delaware. Tonya is a 37-year veteran of education, having served as an elementary, middle, and high school teacher, a building administrator, a district science specialist, and a science methods professor. She has won numerous state and national awards, including being selected twice as state finalist for the Presidential Award for Excellence in Science. In Tonya's educational career, she has been invited to participate in roundtable talks at the White House about enhancing climate education and literacy across the nation in our public schools. She joins other champions working hard on changing the environment through vertical farming, sustainable energy urban planning, and clean water management. Tonya has also been invited to conferences worldwide, including the La Main à la Pati International Seminar in Paris, where she gave a presentation on one of her many hobbies, flying airplanes. Her presentation explained how airplanes fly. In this photo taken in Paris, Tonya is hanging out with Madame Curie's grandson. She said it was an amazing opportunity. Tonya was among a group chosen by Tidemark to receive a professional learning experience at the Bigelow Laboratory for Ocean Science and Ocean Literacy. Tonya plans to help the Delaware Department of Education hold two professional learning courses this fall and next spring on oceans, climate science, and big data. She will present at the NSTA conference in Dallas to promote more teachers from across the country to sign up for this pathway. Tonya is a member of the Delaware Sea Grant Advisory Council. The ocean has been part of Tonya's life, for she grew up on Delaware Bay. Tonya is also the Green Ribbon School's program coordinator for Delaware. Her inspiration is watershed initiatives, gardening, and getting students involved in outdoor spaces. She holds presentations at libraries, at cheer centers, and at zoos. Additional passions for Tonya are raising horses, reading, skydiving, and rescuing wild animals. She is even featured in a Smithsonian book entitled All About Bats. Tonya is a true leader of STEM programs, both for teachers and students. As this year's honoree, Tonya Mead is recognized as a major catalyst between the Delaware Department of Education, the Delaware Science Coalition, the business community, and our broader communities. Mm -hmm.